Hi everyone, welcome back to Where the Gnomes Live. Today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful stone floor. Now you can leave it a natural stone color, or you can color the stones like I did. And I color the stones after the whole floor is done. So what we need for the stones is a cup tray. Lots of people use egg cartons. I prefer cup trays because they have a, a rougher and thicker surface than the egg cartons do. And we need glue, and that's it. Now if you want to color your stones like I did, I use chalk pastels. And then if you want to add the, the seal in finish after, then I just used a, an acrylic sealer and it's a satin finish. Now the cup trays, you'll notice there's different colors. For this stone floor, this one right here, I used a darker tray. So I use this one right here. A cup tray has two sides. There's the outside and then there's the inside. The outside is the part we want to use for the surface of our stone. And all you do is just tear these up. I just tear mine. Now I'm making this floor on a template on a cardboard. Uh, you can put this right inside your dollhouse floor and you can put it on pretty much any surface. So before we get started, I wanted to show you in between my stones here, you can see that lighter color. That is actually paper towel that I glued over top of my cardboard. Well, actually I put masking tape first on the cardboard and then I glued the paper towel. And I talk about that next, but I didn't show you how I glued the paper towel. So I just take a strip of paper towel like this and then I just run it along one surface along the glue and then I fold it in half and then I just pull the glue off and then I'm going to open it up and it's ready to be put on the surface but just make sure uh, you get the top edges soaked with glue as well and that's all I did and then I laid that down on top of my masking tape and then I let it dry well actually I sped up the drying process with my heat gun but you can let it dry naturally so now let's get started making that beautiful floor. Okay, so when you have the little rocks laid down, when they dry, they're going to separate a little bit, and there's going to be a little bit of cracks between them. Now you want to know what color you want behind those stones. Do you want the color of grout? Do you want gray or whatever? It's all personal preference. For me, I like a lighter color behind it, and I like a little bit of stuff. I don't like this flat, flat surface. So what I do on all my stone floors is I cover the first layer with paper towel. Now this is totally optional and you can figure out if you like that or not. Okay, so I'm just going to cover this with masking tape first and then I'm going to lay down my paper towel. So there's two reasons why I put masking tape down first. I put masking tape over cardboard because it protects the cardboard between uh, the moisture and the cardboard. And also it, the, when you put paper towel down after it's dry it, the paper towel will become the color of the background, pretty much. So if I didn't put the masking tape first, this would be kind of dark, and I want a lighter background. Okay, so I've got my full strength glue here. Now when I first did this a few years ago on video for you, I took the hard way and the long way, and I would take each one and I would paint the back and then lay it down. That takes, you can do it that way, that takes forever. So what I started doing was just getting my fingers all full of glue and I just dip the whole thing in there and it's a messy process but this is a lot quicker and then I just push it down so this just takes the stress out of doing the floor I think anyway uh, when I first did them a couple years ago and I did them with the brush uh, I spent a long time also trying to fit each piece together and I'm telling you I mean, they both, the way I'm doing it now and the way I did it then, they both turn out just as cool. So you can cut the time down in half just by not worrying so much about all the pieces and just dipping your hands. Just going for the gusto. Crafters are meant to get messy. This is part of the fun. And you want to get them, the edges, close together, of course. You don't want big gaps. But if you do have big gaps, it's not the end of the world. You can just fill them in after. 
once the piece is all dry you'll see uh, better what you need to do all my stones are down and now I'm just going to speed up the process a little bit by using my heat gun you can also use a hair dryer I've done it both ways if you use a heat gun of course you know not to hold it on one spot for too long or it will burn so I just keep the heat gun moving and I do this and as I'm doing it I'll be pushing some pieces down as I see them popping up So there's a beautiful stone floor and I love the natural color of the cup tray when it's all dry. It's a beautiful stone color. So I've done many of these floors in my dollhouses but I haven't used a colored stone in my dollhouse. And you might notice this is a different floor than the one I was originally working on. What happened was I, before I finished filming, I ended up building a house and that little house went around that floor and I forgot I was supposed to film the ending. So that's what this is here. So of course we want to color on a completely dry floor and I'm using three different colored chalks and because I'm going to use my finger to rub in the color, once you start with one color you want to work with that to the end and then you're going to switch. And what I found helpful was uh, I got a Scott towel and I dripped water on there and I can just uh, dampen my finger. If the color won't rub in, I just dampen my finger and that helps rub the color in. So like I said, we're just going to do random stones here. I'll just pick one here. So just rub it in. And I can see it's not rubbing in a couple spots there, so I'm just going to dampen my finger. And you can go as dark or as light as you want. So there my color is all done. I actually brought in a blue chalk as well and you'll see that different uh, blue color in there. So that's a very pretty floor. Gosh, I like that so much. So I'm going to add a brush on sealer and I'll seal in all that color as well. I'm using an acrylic sealer, a satin finish. I think I'm totally in love with this floor. My goodness, that turned out beautiful. Amazing what you can do with a cup tray and a couple of chalks. I hope you enjoyed watching how to turn a regular old cup tray into a beautiful stone floor. Thanks so much for watching and see you soon.